Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video, I want to talk about the tool ADSI Edit. Now, ADSI Edit is a powerful tool. And the reason I say powerful is you can pretty much delete an organization and bring it or cripple it if you're not sure what you're doing. Now, generally when you open ADSI Edit, you'll see that it is not attached to anything or connected and you'd basically have to you can either connect to the default and in most cases with exchange you will connect to configuration now you're probably wondering why am i showing you this right now there may become a time where you have to do a cleanup when a recovery or something has failed and this is the place where you're going to do it so Basically, if you go and select the configuration option, you expand services, then you'll see that you've got Microsoft Exchange here, your first organization, and then basically you can see all the different options in here. Now, if we go to administrative groups, let me just make this bigger, you'll see there's our administrative group and most times guys come in here and it's like they find the public folder mailbox database that somebody blew away and never actually cleaned it up and what's happening is legitimate databases are trying to query it and they can't so this is where you would do a cleanup now you you don't go here and click on delete because that you'll mean you'll delete the entire tree under databases you'll come into an object here and you can right click and delete it like i say is if you're not sure of doing this don't do it because if you delete the wrong thing you'll cripple your exchange environment only use this in extreme cases if you really have to clean up something so maybe you inherited an exchange server from another admin and you're trying to clean up everything then if the only option left is to use ADSI edit where a recovery doesn't want to work you can do this but exercise with caution so to recap when you launch ADSI edit you will connect to the configuration option and you'll click OK then you'll basically expand services, expand Microsoft Exchange, you'll expand your organization name, your administrative groups, and then the group name, and then obviously where you want to work in here. So I've had it where I've had to clean up a server that didn't want to recover, and obviously its servers are listed in you know, multiple places, but this is where you would come and you would actually remove it. Thank you very much for watching.